Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up Stretch Sense in Wadudo. That way you could be able to send your finger mocap from Stretch Sense over to Wadudo to complete your full body tracking setup. So, let's go ahead and get started. And if you need any more information regarding what Stretch Sense is, feel free to check the description below as I'll be linking the website to Stretch Sense and any other information so you can check them out if you are interested in the mocap gloves so let's go ahead and get started here so what we're going to do in order to send stretch sense to wadudo is we need to go to the edit tab and then go to settings then we need to make sure that the vmc streaming setting here is set to enable remember that it only supports up to one actor so if you do plan on doing multi-actor um there may be some conflict so do keep that in mind but otherwise just stick with one i mean you are one vtuber right Anyways, um, so basically what you're going to do, make sure that this is enabled and then keep a, um, the default port number should be able to work with Wadudo straight out of the box. But of course, if by any chance you need this port number to be different due to your mocap solution, you are free to, to be able to change this number to whatever you want, basically. But once you have it enabled, make sure to click on update settings right here. That way your settings will be saved over here. You can go ahead and exit this window or keep it open if you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and exit this window. Make sure to keep the hand engine uh, program on as that will power your mocap. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Wadudo editor. Then you're going to make sure the onboarding assistant is here. If you by any chance don't know where the onboarding assistant or maybe you deleted it on accident, go ahead and press the plus button here, scroll all the way down to miscellaneous, and then click on the onboarding assistant here and you can be able to add it. You can only add one by the way in your project. Then you're going to click on basic setup and get started. Make sure to select the avatar of your choice. Then you're going to click on OK. Make sure to select on no, I know what I'm going to be using, and then click on OK. Now, you can set your face tracking and post tracking to whoever you prefer. Face tracking could be anything. The post tracking, I personally recommend have it to any full body tracking solution. But if you really want to give webcam tracking or leap motion a try when mixing the gloves, you are free to do so. You might even get some interesting results. But otherwise though, we want to at least make sure that besides the pose and face tracking being to your choice, we need to make sure that the secondary pose tracking is set to stretch sense glove which is the default setting that you see here. So make sure that this is set up. You could customize the pose tracking here if you prefer, but I personally recommend leave it by default as the settings are already really good. Go ahead and click on OK, and then give it some time so that way it can begin processing. Once it's done, you'll probably notice that your stretch sense gloves are starting to work in Wadudo. Make sure to complete the configure background, and then you're good to go on starting with Wadudo basically. And as you can see, while I am still T-posing and I don't have my mo my full body mocap suit here, um, you can see how my hands are able to track really well thanks to stretch sense, as you can see. Now, uh, what about some smoothness settings, right? Like, let's say for instance, we want to add some smoothness to stretch sense. Maybe they are a little bit jittery or you just want to add some little smoothness flair to the gloves. Well, you can actually do that. What you can do is you can go into the blueprints, select the pose tracking VMC that is generated by Wadudo, and then you can scroll out, go ahead and try and find the smooth rotation list here, and then increase the smoothness value to your liking, basically. And as you can see, my uh, finger tracking is a lot more smoother. I'm going to go ahead and increase it so you can see how it moves a lot more slower. So the bigger the value, the slower it is. But the less the value, the more snappier it is. So choose whatever value you seek fit. And once you have that, um, always remember that this VMC receiver here, you can always rename this asset to Stretch Sense so you don't get confused. Stretch Sense. And that's pretty much it on how you can set up Stretch Sense with your Wadudo setup. If you are a more advanced user, you are free to be able to add an asset and motion capture. And again, VMC receiver right here. Uh, if you want to add or customize your stuff, do remember though that when it comes to Wadudo, you do need to make sure to prepare a blueprint. That way the receiver can be active. Otherwise, without a blueprint, your mocap will not be able to work. And that is at least some information regarding you know for advanced users basically but for the most part 
um, that is, this is pretty much how you can be able to easily set up stretch sends with Wadudo. And I hope that this tutorial helps you out, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Oh, and I almost forgot. If by any chance your stretch sense gloves do not work uh, with Wild Dodo at all, please make sure to double check your firewall and make sure that the hand engine program and also uh, Wild Dodo are accepted in the firewall so that way your tracking can work really well. But that's the last uh, little information I have there. I hope you have a lovely day. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.